Okay. All right. So now we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about our first coding challenge. The first coding challenge is to see if all the characters are unique. So we're going to do this. Um, we're going to say we're going to have a string. Red straw equal. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So um, what I want to do is instead of having a function and passing a value to it, what we're going to do is use an extension. This extension is going to refer to the string, which this is a string, right? You right click and you see that it's a string. So what I'm going to do is extension string. write a function here. Our characters care characters unique. And what does this do? This returns a boolean, right? Ooh, right now. In order to test this, you're going to create, I'm going to create another variable, right? And this is going to be array. Equals array. Now I'm casting a string as an array. And I'm referring to myself, who is one, two, three, four, five, six, as self. String self. Okay, and then I'm going to cast this as set equals set. Why? Because set is a collection that does not carry doubles. We just leave it at that for now. So you can put two sixes in there, but it's only going to hold one. It will not have two of the same characters. So there you go. And now, because it only has it once, these this array and this set will be different lengths, right? Obviously, the array will be one more than the set. Array dot count set. That counts. So now let's do this. So compare dot r characters unique, and this should be false. However, if I remove this six, it should be true. The beauty of video tutorials is that got lost anywhere, you can go back and look at it again. So that's it for now. And I'll be back to add on top of this. Mm -hmm.